How's it going y'all? Rowdy Riles coming at you with more lightning collection. Today we have the Lunar Wild Force Ranger and this is a reshoot, a redo of another video um, because I got hit with the running errors on the Wild Lunar Force Ranger. He had the white boots and five stripes but I fixed that myself. I painted it but I still contacted Hasbro and they fortunately did right by me and sent me the right one because as you can see this one is six stripes and uh, silver boots but I actually painted that when I swapped the figure out of the box because I just needed the figure and not the accessories so I do have the updated one this is the one that I fixed myself so yeah we're still going to take a look at the box which is the Walmart exclusive one so it's like uh, not just plain white it's got colors and all that stuff the the older ones were like holographic but it's okay with all that being said we'll take a closer look at the box and then we'll get this bad boy open we have the Lunar Wolf Ranger from one of the shows that I watched growing up at Power Rangers, Wild Force. It was supposed to be the end of Power Rangers, but then they ended up moving it to like, I think New Zealand and filming there or whatever. And then we got Dino, Dino. So on the front of the box, of course, there's the figure Power Rangers Lightning Collection and it's Wild Force Lunar Wolf Ranger. On the back, there is a promotional shot of the figure in those cool red, pink, and uh, orange colors. And then some artwork of the figure right there. So yeah, basic lightning collection box with the added colors. So with also really quick, you can see, like I said, I painted this guy. It's not the cleanest job, but boots are fine. But with all of that being said, let's get this bad boy open. Oh, here is our 95% accurate Lunar uh, Wolf Ranger out of the box. He's still missing his holster for his weapon, which, you know, it's it should be right there. He should have a place to put his sword, but he doesn't because I don't know what Hasbro was thinking, but there's like three errors worth this figure and only two of them are totally fixed. So I'm sure we'll see a re-release of him at some point with pinless joints and maybe like Zenaku or whoever, like probably the bad guy from Wild Boys, probably Zenaku, but you know how it goes. But yeah, he looks dope still. That silver is really cool. He's got a great um, helmet sculpt. Um, the silver's the silver's great. It's really shiny, like not really any metallic swirling on it. So good job with that, you guys. But yeah, I really like him. He was always one of my favorites when I was watching Wild Force. But really want the White Ranger, the girl, the um because they don't have a pink ranger and the yellow ranger. I just want all the wild force rangers. I know there's like problems with the red, but uh, it's still wild force. It's power rangers. We need all the rangers. And just like we need Ninja Storm at some point. Checking out his height, he stands at just about six inches, which is right for lightning collection. Always works for them because they're all pretty uniform in height. So yeah, totally works. Going over his accessories, first we have um, these claw hands, which all the Wild Force Rangers should come with, but I painted the claw silver on the other one that I had, so like I said, I just kept the accessories, so yeah. They weren't painted silver, I did that, but they should be because they're claws, they're metal tipped, so that's one hand he comes with. And then he also comes with a left and a right gripping hand, and nothing else, no posing hands, because the gripping hands are for his... Uh, sword when it's activated which is right there and then his sword also when it's not activated and it's sheathed yet we don't have a sheath or a holster on his side to put it you know so there's like no reason to give us this one if we can't put it away and then of course we also get this uh lightning effect lightning collection you know they always give us some like energy but it just pops onto here and then you know he's using his weapon to take out some putrids or some some orgs i think they're called in wild force but yeah he also comes with one more accessory he also comes with uh this merrick head sculpt right here sorry i wanted it to be a dramatic reveal and didn't quite focus on time but yeah it's not the best face they've ever done to be honest but uh, I looked at the faces between the two and the original one I had was better. Like the other one has, let me show you guys, where's the box? This one looks like he's wearing lipstick, basically. It'll focus, come on, focus. Look how dark that is compared to this one. Like the lips, I'm not trying to give him lipstick. So inconsistencies And there you can see the line I tried to put on there. It's not terrible, but I shouldn't have to do that. And then I painted the boots over. That's not bad. But yeah, 
that's all the accessories for Merrick, our Silver Lunar Wolf Wild Force Ranger. Going over the articulation, we're going to start at the top, and of course we've got that ball peg and socket. Shoulders come up about 90 degrees. We do get butterfly joints, so all kind of movement there. We do get a ball peg at the torso, as well as some ab crunch, double elbow, so he can come in and pound his own chest and howl like a wolf. We don't have any waist cut. Shoulders come about 90, or sorry, uh, legs come up a little less than 90. We've got a thigh cut up there, double knees, can he kick his own butt with ease. We have a boot cut down here with that nice, well, these are supposed to be silver, but I like that gold. Um, Oh, wow, that's a tight rocker, but we do have up, down, and side to side. And, you know, like I said, every time with Lightning Collection, it's pretty uniform. We get the standard movements with every single Lightning Collection figure, which is great. Pretty uniform uh, articulation for Merrick here. I'm loving that silver. First up, for scale and comparison, I don't have the Wild Force Blue Ranger yet, which is the only other Wild Force Ranger that we have, but here he is with the fellow Silver Ranger in space silver which they're both shiny i like shiny things so that works because they look awesome together that would have been cool to see a team up between the two silver rangers um i know there was a titanium ranger but he was like not based on a sentai they actually made him for light speed rescue i think but yeah there's only three silvers i can think of oh wait there's super mega force silver i thought i forgot about him for some female lightning collection comparison, here he is with our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink and Yellow, Trini and Kimberly. Here he is with our SHF Ultraman and our Moth-X Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. If you want to have an MCU and Power Rangers team up, here he is with uh, Bro Thor and Homecoming Spider-Man. So yeah, there you go. For a little bit of classified series, here he is with Zorana and Roadblock. My kit bashed Roadblock. He seems to be a little wobbly there, but I think he looks pretty cool. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Oops. For a little bit of monster action, here he is with our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Putty Pig, who's quite a bit bigger than he is, as you can see. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see my <laughs> janky setup, but I think it looks a little bit better with the black behind the backdrop and I'll I'll figure out something better but new year new things trying out new things we'll see how it goes but yeah I think that's it for comparisons so with all that being said you guys I will say that the wild force silver lunar wolf ranger is totally worth it because he was totally worth it to me um the second time around not the first time first time I was really upset because he wasn't accurate like I said I tried to paint him myself but this one's okay he's 95 percent accurate we're missing his holster for his weapon but it is what it is at this point with the Lightning Collection and Hasbro's QC. But yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash the like button down below. And of course, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Because how would you know when my uh, videos come up if you're not subscribed? Of course, hit that notification bell as well. And comment down below. Let me know what you think of this figure. If you have the same problem, if you have this figure, you know, how your day is going. Just let me know what's up. I love you guys. I will see you next time. And bye-bye.